This is the three piece round sponge set. Again, I use this in all of my flower making classes and many of my craftsy classes too. So first of all, the plain one, which is the solid one here, I use this a lot for, for example, when I'm making things in molds, pressing in the paste, but also in flower making, I use this generally on I'm using when I'm using single sided veiners. So for something like, for example, a rose leaf, we use a single sided veiner here. This is the fine rose leaf veiner. You would place your leaf on the top with the ridge side up and then using the round sponge you're just going to just press onto the top of this with the round sponge and this is excellent because it's dense and it gives a really really nice vein into the uh, leaf or petal whatever you're veining but as I said I use this on cakes as well so then when we take this off you see how you're going to get the beautiful veining onto the leaf okay um, so this works very very well with the plain sponge so then the one that's got the small hole in, all right, this is the one with a single hole. Um, I use this a lot for applying calyxes, um, especially sometimes smaller calyxes, like for example, for Stephanotis, cherry blossom. Again, like on my craftsy class, like in my spring blossom class, this is a small jasmine calyx. So generally I would just pop that to one side but I use this calyx for sweet peas, I use this for Stephanotis, I use this for cherry blossoms. So we're just gonna cup the little uh, calyx. I'm gonna put a little bit of egg white onto here. So bringing in my little uh, easy pot, just take a little bit of egg white. I'm just gonna brush just a little bit of egg white into the center of the calyx. And then here I have a cherry blossom. And with the cherry blossom or the Stephanotis or the sweet pea, just going to just pierce that through and then you place this over where the small hole is so then when you bring this up you see how this just comes up perfectly and it just comes up to the bottom and then you can just use the sponge and you just actually then are going to go around with this to apply this to the back of the flower so this is a very very convenient and easy way to get smaller calyx applied to the base of the flowers and sometimes, of course, we do a fitted calyx where the egg white would be all over, sometimes a loose calyx. So that is the small one with hole in. It's so very useful for small flower making. The third sponge is actually has got a cross in it. And I use this for a lot of flowers with like Mexican hat backs, including things like Bells of Ireland from my New Trends in Sugar Flower book. Also, I use this, for example, for things like in my Craftsy Mastering um, romantic Garden Rose class. So for example, this is a Mexican hat I'd use for something like the Harrison's Yellow Rose. So we put this onto the rose mat. And so the little cross here, you see when this goes over the top of it, will accommodate that little hat without squashing it. So you basically are just gonna press around the outside of this, but this would be the same for like a Bells of Ireland. And then once you press around the outside of it, you see we haven't then squashed the little hat. So then when you take this off of the veiner, and you have your veining onto the petals, and then of course you'd soften the edge of this and hollow it. So that is the three-piece round sponge set.